Hello everyone, it's time to talk about the claw mechanic in Tharmesia. Let's preface however with an insight into enemy health bars, looking at how they work and the role they play with the claw. You will often see two colours on the enemy health bars, white and green. The white bar represents their total health and the green bar is the amount of wounds on the enemy. You will need to empty both of them to finish an enemy. When the enemy's health and wounds are both zero, they will become dazed. Approach a dazed enemy to execute them. Inspired by the macabre medieval act of bloodletting practiced by plague doctors, whenever Corvus deals damage to any enemy, he leaves wounds on them, and then the enemy emits some of their plague energy into the air. Wounds are temporary and will heal after a short period, if no more damage is inflicted by Corvus. If you do not make haste and utilize the claw, your enemy will regenerate health. To prevent this, Corvus has to do the claw attacks in time. Claw attacks are very effective on wounds and can absorb the plague energy. To use the claw, you need to press Y or triangle depending on your controller. You can spend points in the talent tree to extend the period it takes for enemies to start replenishing health. The basic move for claw attack is the long claw. It's slow but charges forward, allowing Corvus to keep distance from the enemy and it also deals significant damage. You can also switch to the short claw in the talent tree. Short claw is a series of frenzied attacks which deal a ton of damage in no time, especially effective when dealing with multiple foes at once. The claw can also be utilized to reeve enemy plague weapons, but we'll talk about that in the next video. Thymesia releases August 9th on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series XS and PC.